So let's say you have a $100 bill and you put it in your dresser and leave it there for 10 years. What do you have at the end of the 10 years? Well, you have $100. The number does not increase at all. Well, what if I told you there's a way you could take that $100 and after 10 years have $200? Well, something like this can be done with investing. The closest equivalent for investing when it comes to cryptocurrency is known as staking. You basically put your money aside and you're supporting a certain cryptocurrency's network and as a result, you get rewarded extra cryptocurrency. So pretty much, you get paid for having cryptocurrency. It's pretty awesome. Now the tool we're going to be using to start staking with cryptocurrency is Binance. I'm gonna leave a link for you guys in the description if you want to get started with it. This is Binance.us. However, there's also Binance.com if you're not in the US. And if you go to Binance.com and look at all the staking options, you can see that there's all of these different cryptocurrencies that you get an increase of your portfolio just for owning them in your portfolio. You don't actually have to do anything. It's a solid passive income stream. Plus, you know, the price of these cryptocurrencies could go up over time, so you might actually make a lot more than something like 1% to 2%. Now, before you get super stoked and you're like, man, I'm going to buy all these cryptocurrencies, this is just the supported cryptocurrencies for Binance.com. Unfortunately, Binance.us does not quite support that many. So on Binance.us, it looks like we have three options. But it's a fairly new capability. I just got started with it. And I mean, even if you go into one of these cryptocurrencies, you can click on Algo, for example. You can see the historical reward and see that there's only about like six months or not even six months, there's five months of data on here for the return. So the bad news is, you know, there's not a whole lot of options, but the good news is this is fresh and more than likely new options are going to be added regularly. So you're watching this, you might actually go and see that there are more than three different cryptocurrencies to start staking. So all of these staking cryptocurrencies are said to be proof of stake cryptocurrencies. It's basically the consensus mechanism as opposed to something like proof of work, which is what Bitcoin uses. So basically, when you own this cryptocurrency, you are supporting the network and you get rewarded money in exchange. Money being more of that cryptocurrency, which you can then sell. And as I mentioned, the price might go up over time, so you could get a pretty good return on your investment. The price could go down. I mean, we don't know. But ideally, the price stays the same or it goes up. And with the potential future of cryptocurrency, I think that is likely the case. But it's not investment advice, okay? Don't sue me. Anywho, what do you actually have to do to start staking with Binance? Well, like I said, all you have to do is own the currency. You don't actually have to do anything. You just have to buy it. So that's it. So for example, you can hit buy on, actually, let's go with a different one. I already have some of this one. Let's go with Tezos. So we're going to go in here, hit buy. And let's take a look at the historical reward. Oh, wow, this one's really fresh. So it started with 6% and then 5%. Estimated return is 6 to 7 uh, we'll see over time. I mean, giving it two months isn't really a good way to measure its performance because we really want to own this for the long haul and make good passive income for years to come. So don't just look at one month and be like, oh, that's the number I'm going to get for the rest of eternity. There's a lot of variables and the different cryptocurrencies decide that number in different ways. So you can research them and figure that out if you want. But let's go ahead and buy some of this and I'm going to use... United States dollar. This is going to bring you to the trading page, which obviously if you don't have an account, you're going to have to sign up. If you want to buy the cryptocurrency using United States dollars, then you're probably going to have to go through some verification for KYC laws. However, if you already have Bitcoin in a wallet or another exchange, you can transfer it to Binance and then use that Bitcoin to buy whatever staking cryptocurrency you're interested in. So let's go ahead, instead of using the trading platform, let's click buy crypto. And instead of Bitcoin, we're going to change the cryptocurrency. We will select Tezos. And for the payment method, you can use the bank account or any USD balance that you have. So that is how you would make a purchase with United States dollars. And that's what we're going to do. So I'm actually going to 
specify a certain number of Tezos that I want. Let's go with 50 Tezos and we're going to get this from the bank and then go ahead and hit buy. It'll give you a summary of the price and the amount and everything and currently 50 of these cost $133 so I'm curious to know what it costs for you so maybe leave a comment in the comment section below. Go ahead and confirm that purchase. All right, so there we go. Now that should show up in your wallet. So if you go back to your wallet, you can look at your portfolio on there and it'll have that balance. So here is the history, but you can also just go to balance. And on here, you should see that cryptocurrency right there. And we have 50 of them. Now, if you want to instead use Bitcoin to make a purchase of one of these cryptocurrencies, I'm gonna show you how to do that now. So first thing, you need to get Bitcoin in your balance here. So select Bitcoin and hit deposit. This will give you your address to send Bitcoin to. So you can copy your address and use that as the destination wallet for wherever you're sending crypto from. So if you have another exchange, you can send and paste that address in there and it'll come into your Binance wallet. Once you have Bitcoin in your wallet, then you can make an order for another cryptocurrency. So let's just scroll up and look at the other staking cryptocurrency. So that second one there is Atom. So here's what we're gonna do. We're going to buy some Atom. Just go ahead and click either one of these. It doesn't matter because we're gonna switch it to Bitcoin. So to switch it over here on the right, select Bitcoin. Atom is not on here. Rest in peace me. I'm sorry guys. But Tezos is on here. So you could go with that one. So in this situation, you can place a buy order using the Bitcoin. So put the amount of Bitcoin you want here. So for example, one Bitcoin would get you a crap ton of Tezos. So that is how you would do that. Now, how do you actually make money? Do you have to do anything? Well, no, actually just having it in your Binance account is going to start earning you more of that cryptocurrency. But it's not going to show up every single second or every single day. It's actually going to be a monthly thing. So check back at the beginning of the following month and it'll have that balance. If you want a little bit of extra information just about how the process works, on the staking page there's an FAQ which should answer a lot of the questions you might have. So scrolling down to the bottom here, again, you just have to have it in your account nothing crazy. One of the great things though is that you can still trade while you're staking. You don't have to set aside those funds and do nothing with them. So you can still make trades. I mean if you sell all of the coin during that time you'll get less of a reward because you don't own as much of that coin but it's going to adapt for whatever your balance is so feel free to continue to trade that cryptocurrency, buy it, sell it, whatever you need to do. Now, one thing I also want to call out is that it does not have any fees, which is fantastic. This is actually a lot better than some of the other exchanges out there. So highly recommend if you are staking to go with a Binance.